Hey, Kevin Wright here. I thought you'd be interested in a question that came up at one of my recent Monday morning Q&A sessions. I go out live on YouTube at 8.30 every Monday morning and a bunch of people jump on and ask me questions about property finance and I answer them. So watch this video to see what answer I gave to this question. What's your prediction for house prices going forward? Hang on a minute, let me dust out that crystal ball. I've got it down here somewhere. <laughs> uh, my prediction is they're gonna go up or go down or stay the same. Um, I mean, listen, who knows? Uh, you might as well ask me for the lottery numbers. Um, you know, anyone that says property prices are gonna go up or down or whatever is just um, uh, expressing an opinion. No one really knows what property prices are going to do. And again, um, the bit you missed out in your question was over what time period? You know, because the answer changes depending on uh, what time period you're looking at. If you're looking at a de over a decade, so if you if you what is the prediction on house prices over you know by 2020 30? 20, 20, 30, 20, 30, of course. Um, so if you're saying, will house prices um, be higher or lower by 2030, then almost certainly higher. Um, will they be higher or lower by the end of 2021? Who knows? Um, you know, there's a lot of factors now. Um, you know, the stamp duty holiday that was introduced last July has kept the house market buoyant, hasn't it? Um, you know, there are other factors as well, but that's clearly one factor in um, keeping prices high. You know, now, here's the here's the point about making predictions. Now, I think most people would agree that Savills, the estate agents, uh, know a thing or two about property. Uh, you know, they've been at it for I don't know decades, certainly maybe even longer than that maybe they've been around for more than a century so they've they've got um statistics you know to, to prove almost anything you want now go back to almost this time last year um i tuned into a webinar that savills were doing and uh they um they wheeled out their ace statistician um, that's, a, that's a tough thing to say, isn't it? Statistician, statistician. Yeah, there we are. Um, and um, he pulled up all sorts of historical data to say that although we hadn't had a total shutdown of the economy, remember this was last April, so we were literally less than a month into lockdown one. Um, so although we hadn't had a total shutdown of the economy before, he went back to previous um, um, eras of property to say, well, look, when this happened, this was the result. And here was their prediction. So their prediction, their prediction was that by um, December 2021, by, sorry, by December 2020, by the end of 2020, the property market would, uh, property prices would fall by five to 15%. Now that didn't happen, did it? In fact, the reverse happened. You know, property prices went up. Uh, and you know we've all seen this so hey if if Savills can't get it right on even you know six months so or eight months let's say can't get it right projecting eight months um <laughs> what chance have I got um so you know any prediction is you know is um is just guesswork you know now at that time in April Savills didn't know and hadn't factored in that the fact that the, cha the Chancellor was going to induce a stamp duty holiday for the first £500,000. And of course, that, that had an effect, didn't it? Um, so, you know, predictions are, um, you know, are based on, um, at best, based on what is known at this moment in time. But other, other unforeseen factors can come in and skew those predictions. Um, <clears throat> I think if you want to boil it straight down to its um, to its most base level to say 
you know, what is the prediction for property in the UK? Well, let's look at the, uh, is it the macroeconomic situation? Okay, so we're a, um, a country of, was it 66 million people? Um, on a pretty small land mass, comparatively. And, and the comparison is always with France. France has got a similar population. It's in the 60 millions. I haven't got the exact number there, but it's comparable. But it has six times the land mass of the UK. So in other words, um, French people have six times as much space as we have to live in, in this country. Now, you can then um, uh, assume that um, places to live are at a premium in the UK compared to France. Uh, and for a number of years, the requirement for new homes, whether they're new build or uh, greenfield, brownfield, or conversions of existing properties, has been an extra 300,000 homes a year are needed to keep pace with the uh, demand. It's an old supply and demand issue. Um, never yet hit that. So through successive governments, um, successive initiatives, never yet hit 300,000 a year. So there's a shortfall every year. So what is that saying? It's saying that um, we live on a comparatively overcrowded island where there's a continuing excess of demand that outstrips supply. Now, um, I'm not an economist, but I would imagine an economist would tell you that when you have demand exceeding and outstripping supply, prices rise. So, um, logic says that long term, i.e. over the next decade, over this decade until 2030, um, you would expect prices to rise simply because um, there's a greater demand for places to live, that's to buy or to rent, than um, there is supp supply. Now, if you found that question and my answer interesting, there's a whole load more of this that goes on on a Monday morning. Now, you can either log in through YouTube or you can join my Facebook group, Recycle Your Cash for Property Investors and get it streamed through there. The link is on this page. And if you want access to my whole back catalogue of Q&As, which is well over 50 hours of viewing time, then I've got a way to do that. Join Fiverr Tribe and you can get access to that back catalogue with a simple word search facility. So just type in the question that you want answers to and it'll come up on screen almost instantaneously all the times that I've mentioned your particular keyword. It's like having a property finance Wikipedia, I guess. How do you access this? By joining my Fiverr tribe. Click the link on the page and guess what? It's a Fiverr a month. So I look forward to seeing you at future Q&As.